Welcome to the ninth video in the 10 Reasons You Need Fusion series. Hardly any composite these days doesn't have some sort of particle effect in it, even if it's just some subtle haze drifting over the front of a shot. Fusion has a world-class set of particle tools that work in a complete 3D environment, and once you start using them, you'll wonder how you ever manage without them. Having such a comprehensive set of particle tools in Fusion means that you can save huge amounts of time and expense by not always having to rely on your 3D application. It's all there when and as you need it. And what's more, it's so easy to use. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to begin by playing a few examples of particles created in Fusion, starting with some sparkles probably what a lot of people first think of when you mention the subject. But it's really the practical and natural effects that are most useful. Things like steam or mist, rain, snow, fire and water. All these are very easily created inside Fusion. In fact, you can build up a whole library of these sorts of effects for instant recall on any shot. The water itself is a very good example of Fusion's particle capability since it has been created in a full 3D environment. Particle flows can be added directly into your comps with easy manipulation for perfect results. I'll show you an example of that in practice. In a previous video, I showed you some particle snow being luma keyed over a background, which gave me this result. This is a fast way to add atmospheric effects to your video without resorting to stock library footage. This is produced in 2D, but if I turn to another example, you can get a much better sense of depth by creating the particle snow in a full 3D environment. Looking at the final result, not only does the snow fall slower in the background than the foreground, but it also follows the camera, which has been incorporated into the particle move as well. The other example which I also showed earlier was this particle steam applied to a cup of coffee, with the result looking like this. Now the particle steam in this case was generated inside Fusion from a small circular emitter at the bottom of the screen, but you can use any polygon shape, bitmap or geometry, still or moving, to act as the particle emitter. So in the example here, the requirement was to produce some steam and heat haze coming off the diver's helmet as he submerges. And this was the shape that was actually used as an emitter to give a really great end result with perfect integration. As an example of that capability working in practice, I have some particle fire here which has been generated by a text tool. In this case, a single exclamation mark. Moving to the comp itself, here is the text tool that is acting as an emitter this time with an at symbol acting as a particle emitter for the fire. But notice how quickly I can change that to the word hot and see the updated result almost instantly. Change it again, this time back to the exclamation mark, and once more it updates so you can see the effect fast. Great for versioning since you only have to change the emitter shape input each time. I can also change the parameters of the particle stream as well with equal speed. So changing the direction gives me a different result like this, again instantly viewable, and changing the strength also updates equally quickly. This live interactive performance is vital when working with particles, and Fusion has an extremely powerful engine inside it that enables you to get the results you want as fast as possible. It's also possible to get some quite realistic atmospheric cloud effects simply by using 2D elements fed into the particle emitter as bitmaps. I've got a couple of still frames here, just simple clouds out of a black background. As I said, these have been fed into an emitter, and if we take a look at the result, this is what we get in our perspective view. The emitter shows them as a bitmap source, and the region that emits them has been set to a simple cube and then elongated. As I move around the space, you can start to see the full 3D environment that's been created, with the clouds transparent and overlapping to create quite a nice effect already. If I add in a camera move, and then pull back a little so that we can see it properly, we can run the camera right down the centre of the clouds, key it over a plain blue background, and end up with a result that looks like this. All this created from just a couple of still frames. 
If we add some 3D text into the mix and just zoom back a little, there you can see the text sitting very nicely right in the centre of the clouds, with them all overlapping and transparent again. Once more, with the same camera move running down the centre, we end up this time with a result that looks like this. So, a lot of possibilities here, not just for motion graphics as the example used here, but more in general, potentially saving yourself time and money in going to your 3D department, when you could do this sort of thing quite easily in Fusion. Particle sources can also be animations in their own right for even greater possibilities. And that is exactly what this example shows, since here I have some animated fast noise being fed into the particle emitter on the left hand side of the comp. Before I play back the result, it's probably worth taking a look at the controls of the emitter on the right, where the colour over life has been adjusted from orange through to blue. And that will be utilised to give the thing more of a fireball effect. So now the resulting effect itself. Even though I'm working in true 3D particle space, I still get incredibly fast playback and review, which makes a huge difference when creating something like this. Finally, the whole thing has been dropped into the centre of a star field sphere to create a mini universe, and a camera move added. And this is our rendered result. More often than not, it's a lot quicker to create particle effects inside Fusion rather than going to your 3D application, and as you can see, the results are no less stunning. One more example of what can be achieved with particles is this slightly unusual one here that again uses just 2D bitmaps as a source. In this case it happens to be about a dozen individual frames of popcorn, which I can quickly step through. Each has its own alpha channel, which looks like this. And then once again they are fed into an emitter. A pretty natural movement of them being thrown in the air can easily be achieved in Fusion, as seen here when we look at the perspective view in the 3D Merge tool. What's quite interesting though is that if I stop the playback and zoom in a little, you can see a very realistic rendition of the popcorn itself, which despite their 2D source, has been set to constantly face the camera, so as I rotate round the scene the effect created is that of 3D rather than 2D objects, but moving in the full 3D environment that Fusion offers you. Once again I also get incredibly fast playback and review, plus as this demonstrates there is no end to what bitmaps you can enter into emitters, so pretty much unlimited creativity. A final example and a particular favourite of mine is this one, again just starting with a still frame, an illustration of a bee. A chroma key has been used to separate the body from the background, and looking at the alpha channel also includes the legs etc. The wing has been similarly separated out, a transform move added and looped, and then merged over the body to produce this. The same has then been done with the second wing. Then the whole thing has been transformed into the centre of the screen, and a camera shake applied to it. Once more, if we look at our alpha channel, we can see the transparency of the wings, which will make quite a difference to the finished result. This is now fed into the emitter, and the whole thing composited over a background to produce the final swarm of bees, which looks like this, all fluttering away with their semi-transparent wings. A really creative use of particles here for an animated children's story that once again shows just how extensive the possibilities are with particles. So what you have just seen is one of the key advantages of Fusion, a world-class set of particle tools that work in a complete 3D environment. Custom region emitters and integrated regions mean unlimited flexibility, and particles in Fusion also means that you can save huge amounts of time and expense by not always having to rely on your 3D application. So whether you just want to quickly add in some atmospheric effects to your video to increase realism, add sparkles to your motion graphics, or create whole cloud landscapes using assorted bitmaps, Fusion gives you the capability and the speed to get it done. That's it for this video. In the final video, we'll be going through motion graphics. Meanwhile, don't forget to take a closer look at our website at www.ionline.com, plus the Ion YouTube channel, where you can find a whole host of news, events, and information that will show you why Ion Software is a world leader in compositing.